We are the Chris O'Leary Band, and you're watching the extended play sessions. The name of this song is Trouble. I don't know where I'm going, God know where I've been. You rub and pay with good intention, foundation lacing. Only got myself to blame for all this trouble. I'm talking trouble, I've been living in. I'm talking trouble, I've been living in. I finally get it all together. Will I try to do what's right? Always comes out wrong. No, I feel it's a package deal. Let me reap what you had sown. There's an angel on my shoulder, but them devil always comes along. I said trouble. I've been living in. Ooh, I said trouble. I've been living in. Always comes out wrong. 
Now I feel it's a package deal and you reap what you had. So man, there's an angel on my shoulder, but that devil always comes along. I said trouble. I've been living in. <laughs> I dog in trouble. Hey. I've been living in. Now I finally get it all together for all this trouble I've been getting in. There I own a pistol and a hand across my heart. A little ledge, I get off the ledge and I make a brand new start, man. It's these moments at them crossroads that can tear a man apart. I said trouble. Hey. I've been living in. <laughs> I dog in trouble. Woo! I've been living in. I finally get it all together. song right here is a song of a later CD, which was the number one blues CD in the country for seven days. Seven glorious days we were number one. <laughs> so Buddy Guy was up there on top of the charts, as he should be, he's Buddy Guy. And we made it up to number two and I said to myself, Damn, if you're gonna be number two to somebody, being number two to Buddy Guy is pretty damn good. He's a living legend. Yeah. The next week we were number one. I was in Mexico. I had my feet in the water. Had a margarita, a beautiful woman by my side. Life was good, people. Life was good. I had the number one blue CD in the country. One week later, I'm in Troy, New York. Freezing my ass off. Drinking a Pabst Blue Ribbon. With number 68. <laughs> yep, that's how it goes. <laughs> There's a song off that record called The Circus Just Left Town. Well, the circus child just let town. Now everybody stop, everybody stay while they tear the bed tie down. Yeah, you gave up everything, try to pawn your diamond ring. There ain't another circus left to be found. He done pack it in. Uh, him and Big Sadie, the bearded lady, left all the coast and now they live in Sam. And I said, I found a damn thing. Me and you really had down, had down. And now the circus is 
The human cannonball, he ain't taking any calls. Cushions is fall with a case of brandy. Now, lion tame on Billy got elected to the hill. Where the whip and the chair might come in handy. Now, I let it go. Say the hell with your show. I can still remember. in the midway there ain't a soul to be found now the smell of the popcorn still hanging in the air chickens lying torn on the ground and now time catches up to everyone baby and the crowd never sticks all around all around now the circus
Thank you all so much. Are y'all having a good time? <laughs> I think we broke the rules on that one, didn't we? All right. That's what we do. Yes. All right, while we're waiting, so this song right here, and this isn't going to go on the tape. It's about an unfortunate circumstance that happened in Camden, South Carolina, where I got drunker than a monkey on Sunday. How did you? So uh, I, I, I blew my voice out on the first, uh, first set, and then uh, I came to the bartender. I said, I need something for my voice, and she, she gave me a shot of Jägermeister. So to a room packed full of about 300 people, I said, I'd like to thank the bartender for giving me a shot of Jägermeister to help me. The next, uh, next hour, every 15 seconds, a shot of Jägermeister came up from the audience. So I took it on myself to drink every single one. It's not like whiskey or anything, right? It's Jägermeister. Tastes like cough syrup. I forgot what English was, and things got ugly. Speaking German. So. I don't remember a thing about it, actually, but due to the photographic evidence provided to me by my loving bandmates, I wrote this song right here. It's a song called One More Saturday Night. Are we ready? Oh, we All right. <laughs> Gonna load up the van, got a show 300 miles away. Load in a sound chair, grab a bite to eat and play. And now Sunday Tuesday they try to do the crime. The weekend comes and the band is sounding fine. Crossing through Georgia, cross the Carolina line. The Jägermeister Saturday, Sunday's just in time for one more Saturday, one more Saturday night. Gave you all I had Still when it walked away Tell you good with the bad Ain't that what the people say And the bad was pretty awful Blue was pretty great Whether we made it or not I had to chalk it up to fate Didn't help matters much I was just a little late the song came up at seven. I was stumbling in at eight. For one more Saturday, one more Saturday night.
whiskey store. Gonna get me a jug of wine. Now y'all know I need it for gonna help me to pass the time. The people see on the bottle have been struggling to the nail. The weekend comes, I try to stay out of jail. Hair of the dog, woo, it almost never fails. Sunday morning comes, I hope I live to tell the tale. But one more Saturday, one more Saturday, one more Saturday night. Thank y'all so much. All right, so this song right here is a song I wrote. I got a, I got a brand new baby boy. All right, he, he's not brand new anymore, he's four. <laughs> but he's still my baby boy. He has lost that new car smell, though, I got to tell you that. But uh, <laughs> I wrote this song to embarrass him in, when he's around 13 or 14. As an Irish-American, my father embarrassed the hell out of me. And it's my duty and my privilege and my honor to That's do that to the same to my son. So uh, we're going to do a song right here. We're going to do a song. Well, yeah, all right. We're going to do a song right here called Daddy's Here. Take hold of my hair, man. I never go away. I do all that I I can. Little man, my dad is here to stay. As a young man, I played, I swear I played silly games. I went this way, I went that way. Every day is the same. Now when you first opened up your, your end of life, My own life changed. Fall asleep, oh, baby boy. Now go and rest your tired, your tired eyes. Dreams are sweet, baby, my baby boy. I swear I'll be right here when you arrive. Now, when the cold, the cold wind blows. And it gets so pitch dark, baby boy, gets so pitch dark at night. Don't you know I love you? I love you. I love you so. That is it. And it ain't gonna be all.
Down goes out to my baby boy, Jackson. Woo. Woo. So every time he brings somebody home, whether it is, it's his first date or the guys from the team or whatever, I'll be playing that song every single time. He loves it now. He's going to hate it later, I guarantee you that. The name of this song is I Wish You Would. Yes, it did. I 
is crying and weeping didn't do me no good. Oh, come back, baby, I wish you would. Oh, come back, baby, I wish you would. Oh, come back, baby, I wish you would. Thank y'all so much. That's a Billy Boy Arnold song. Now this is another song right here off of our latest CD.
What did I tell you all this CD went to number one? It never gets old, I'm telling you. <laughs> this song is a song called Second Time Around. <laughs> I've been walking down on Pine, then I turned to Maine. I saw this beautiful sight, little girl sort of looked the same. Been about a year and a half since that blue-eyed woman put me down. Oh, you know, she put me down. Won't be no sinner, I cry. Oh, I want a second time around, a second chance with you, babe. So I asked, I said, Woman, well, what did I do? That I already knew. Too much drinking, gambling, woman chasing, carousing. We will come back on you. Yes, it will. I had my name on a stool. Every honky tonk and bar in town. Every bar in town. I said, baby, but I changed my low down even ways. All I want is a second time around. All I want a second time around All I need a second time around All I want a second time around Yes, I do All I need a second time around Okay, let me tell y'all a little something about this song right here. It's a true story. I'm walking down the street in my hometown of Saratoga, New York. I'm going north, coming south, is the finest woman I ever seen in my life. People, she was fine. And on second inspection, hot damn, that woman used to be mine. And it's so often the case, now that she is not mine, she looked a whole mess finer than she did when she was mine. Uh-huh. So being that she was so fine, I stepped to her. I said, hey, baby, how you been? Then I asked the dumbest question you could ever ask a woman that you did wrong. I asked her, <laughs> I asked her, do you remember me? <laughs> Fellas, it's a natural bone fact, and you can look it up in the Johns Hopkins book of scientific shit if you want. It says right there in black and white, a woman's memory is a whole mess better than a man's. It's just live it, know it, learn it. <laughs> it will serve you well. <laughs> that woman, I mean, frankly, that woman remembered stuff I don't think I ever did. <laughs> but what was I gonna say? I can't even remember what color socks I have on. 
The woman remembered a lamp I broke in 1998. What was I going to say? I'll tell you what I was going to say, and this is what I said. I said, <laughs> I said, baby, I changed. I changed my low, <laughs> I changed my low down evil ways. I stopped drinking, I stopped gambling, I stopped, I don't even know what carousing is. I stopped whatever it was that put me in your doghouse, I cut out the program. And this is what the woman said to me. That's a, a little bit of a disclaimer. Because this part is usually sung by the lovely and talented Miss Libby Cabello. Libby is not here with us right now, so I will be singing in her stead. Fellas, just so you know. Shit, I'm a Marine. I'm perfectly secure in my manhood. I can sing as a woman for, 30, for 33 seconds. So without putting my hand on my hip and singing on falsetto voice, just so you know, I'm singing from a point of view of the finer persuasion. So, so this, is, this is what she said. She said, she said, I loved you once, baby, and there ain't no denying. I remember all the heartache. I remember all the long, lonely nights of crying. She said she ain't nobody's dog, man. Mm -mm. Little girl says she ain't no, ain't nobody's clown. She said I ain't nobody's clown. But she laid it down, she said, gonna be a cold damn hell fool uh -huh. before you get a second time around, a second chance with me. I said, woman, after them uh, the five on um, three uh, month and a half of bliss that we shared, <laughs> is that all you have to say to me? Really? Is that it? And the woman said, no, no, no. That is not all I have to say to you. Now, people, at this point, this is an educated, intelligent woman, and I knew I didn't have a chance in hell of getting with her again. But I knew whatever was gonna come out of her mouth next was gonna be priceless, so I took out my pen and paper, because my memory is not the best, and I wrote it down exactly what she, <laughs> I, I knew shit was going bad, so I wrote it down. I knew this was gonna be good, so this is what she said verbatim. <laughs> this is what she said. She said, every dog has his day, baby. And this ain't the one. Now you've been out burying your bone and having a whole mess of fun. Now look at you, look at you, just look at you. Your tail's between your legs. You're at mama's kitchen door, sniffing around, your dog. Oh, 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 oh. You're sniffing around. Mm -hmm. This is where she laid it down. She said, <laughs> go bury your bone 
in someone else's backyard. You ain't dead. Go second time around. Hey! Woo! All I want a second time around. Yes, I do. All I need a second time Sorry, people. <laughs> Thank you all so much. <laughs> this is a song, it's another true story entitled Louisiana Woman. Suit, some spectator shoes, tattoos across my knuckles saying bone to lose. I got a dollar fifty haircut, a half a dollar cone, a half a can of pomade. I'm still going home alone. Losing won't stay away. Don't believe that voodoo mess you gotta say. She's a Creole woman. All she had to say is don't worry, share. Let's her let bon ton roulet. I still cross my heart, for it's too late. I can't wood, I don't wanna turn fate. Drive across the river, don't know what to expect. Woman had a 65 La Sable, backseat reeks of sex. I hold my breath when I cross the bridge, just in case. I look across the sea, woman's got a grin on her face. She's a Louisiana woman, stay away. Don't believe that voodoo mess you gotta say. She's a beautiful Creole woman. All she had to say was don't worry, share. Let's her let bon ton relate. I still cross my heart, for it's too late. Knock on wood, I don't want a damn fate. <laughs>
thick as gumbo after the rain. There's a liar's moon shining down on Lake Pontchartrain. I study and stumble, but there ain't no going home. I hear Irma Thomas playing on the radio. She's a loser and a woman. Stay away. Don't believe that voodoo mess you gotta say. Now she's a Creole woman. All she had to say. Don't worry, share less of that bone tone lick. I still cross my heart for it's too late. Now, kind of wood, I don't want to tell feet. Now, Could have been there for days, I lost track of time. I remember redfish hanging from a chicken wire line. Now when the fever broke, I was alone in my bed. She must have crossed her fingers when she uncrossed the legs. She's a loser and a woman. Stay away, don't believe. Still cross my heart, for it's too late. That kind of word I don't want to tell fate. I still cross my heart, for it's too late. That kind of word I don't want to tell fate. I still cross my heart, for it's too late. That's a true story. Bad part of town. Yep. <laughs> Sounds like a track to bridge the lake. All right, like I said, I'm a Marine, and uh, uh, I'm a proud member of the VFW. Um, hey. My barber shop happens to be right next door to my VFW. So when I want an interesting take on today's events, whether it be media, politics, what have you, I go down to my barber shop and listen to the other veterans espouse on whatever they happen to be espousing, espousing, espousing on on that day. So uh, I started taking notes again, and this is what you get. It's a song called 19 Cents a Day. Hold it. The name of the song <laughs> is 19 Cents a Day. Yeah, there's an ass kiss power tie picking up slack. You can burn a pound of flesh if you trim an ounce of fat. Money changers on the temple, now they don't produce a thing. They'll just outsource, downsize, let freedom ring. 
syndicated bullshit. There's a talk show idiot. You just lost your job. They'll say the union is a cause of it. A pat on the back. Hey, Charles, show you the door. When they finish screwing dad, they'll send Junior off to war. Three is in the guard. He's already on tour number two. When it's someone else's son, it's an easy thing to do. Wrap it in the flag. Throw him combat pay. That flag was made in Hong Kong. I bet you the old glory's made in Hong Kong. You got some seven-year-old undernourished child sewing that flag in Hong Kong. For 19 cents a day. How's it here? We're not in China, K signs a long time ago. Now we appreciate your service, but sir, you gotta go. Too little money for the casualties today. There's only so many beds down at the VA. But now come back and see me around election time when the cameras are rolling. Shit, I try to grow a spine and I'll get you the funding to do what's right. If it pulls well with the base, I might fight a good fight. But once the ballots are counted in a back up on the hill, I'd like to help you with your problem. My calendar is filled. I sure they can help you back at the VA where they fly old glory proud. Yes, they fly the stars and the stripes so proudly. Got brave men waiting and dying while they fly that flag so proud. For 19 cents a day. Come on, baby. Got teen moms pregnant on MTV. I guess music doesn't sell like reality. Now your 15 minutes of fame ain't free. There's role miles of plenty out on cable TV. Now Johnny Slang and Kane, since he was nine, he got money in his pocket. I guess no child left behind. Now if that's not your style, move on down the dial. Fair and balanced news like some celebrity trial. Left wing, right wing, it don't mean a thing. Them fools just tell a bunch of lies. All the pens upon us, men wrap it in the flag. Don't matter what they say, that flag was made in Hong Kong. I bet your old glory is made in Hong Kong. Just about every damn thing's made in Hong Kong. For 19 cents a day.
So the beauty of this job right here is we get to travel from Portland, Maine to Portland, Oregon, everywhere in between and see this wonderful country. And it truly is, I'm not a flag, I'm a Marine, but I'm not a flag waver. You gotta, if you're gonna talk the talk, you better walk the walk. And the, the beauty of this country and the strength of this country, and I say it every night, is in our diversity. People, places, things, religions, lifestyles, cultures, whatever. That's what this country was built on and that's what makes us strong. So we were in the great state of North Carolina. My parents' bedroom set was built in North Carolina, in Asheville, North Carolina in 1988. It's as good today as it was the day it was made. It was made by people who gave a damn about what they were doing, who made an honest day's pay for an honest day's work. My bedroom set, <laughs> I bought at Hook Finn's Wholesale Warehouse two years ago, and it's a piece of shit made in Shanghai. And I ain't blaming the Chinese one bit. I don't blame them at all. They're just doing what they ought to be doing, making a buck. But somebody sold the American craftsman down the river, and it sure as shit weren't the Chinese. Because you can't find a furniture factory in North Carolina anymore. It's all been outsourced to China. You have people that made wonderful things that can't make a living doing what they ought to be doing. And that is a shame and a sin. So we got a label that allows me to say whatever it is I want to say. <laughs> so, so, on this verse, I just did that. My father said, son, he said two things. He said, son, if you're not pissing somebody off by what you're saying, you ain't saying shit. And he also said, son, if someone's dumb enough to stick a microphone in front of your face, you might as well tell them what you think, because chances are that opportunity will not arise again anytime soon. <laughs> so on this, on this verse, that's what I did. So as a result, you will not find the CD at Target, at Sam's Club, at Costco, at, uh, at Ocean State job lots, at Big Lots, and at Walmart. <laughs> but you will find it right here. And at a dumpster in West Memphis because we got robbed and they took all my CDs. Ain't that a bitch? All right, so here you go. <laughs> Where they used to be a factory right outside of town. Now there's a Walmart going up to start a breaking ground. A faded glory, same old story, right across the map. Just ring the bell and fill the shelves with Chinese crap. Why make it here when you can make it overseas? Third world slave labor, woo! Throw me the keys to my brand new bands. My Ivy League friends, executive washroom, the party never ends. Unemployment benefits extended for a year. But if you want a job that's worth a damn, forget about it here. A year before your firing, you would think about retiring, but now your pension plan has been looted. I said your pension plan's been looted. But that's okay. Cause Walmart is hiring. 65 man got a dime to your name. But that's okay, cause Sam's Club is hiring. Walked all your life, your retirement is gone. That's okay, cause Uncle Sam Walton's hiring. But not
Love songs, people. We're all about the love here. We're going to do two sets. I have no clue what, um, where we're at time-wise. All right. Cool. Nice. <laughs> All right, this is a song called Grease Monkey Mama. <laughs> it's another love song. Like Chuck, right? Chuck, man. <laughs> I told you, people. This is, a, this is a, I used to have a '69 Coupe de Ville convertible. It was, <laughs> it was GM green with a green top, green leather interior. At 20 feet, that thing was a beautiful car. The closer you got to this particular vehicle, the bigger a piece of shit it became. <laughs> and at five feet, it was what they used to refer to as a hoopty. So, I, keeping that car on the road was not an easy task. So I pull it into this mom and pop shop in Highland, New York. And there she was, underneath the Subaru doing exhaust work. She had coveralls on, hair up in a bun, grease all over her face, churning wrenches. I fell in love at first sight. The woman was a vision of loveliness in axle grease. She kept my car on the road for two years, which was no easy task. We started dating, everything was hunky-dory until I, <laughs> until I wrote this song. Yeah, we had to go our separate ways. But she is immortalized on our first CD. This song called Grease, <laughs> Grease Monkey Mama. So here you go, now listen here. Well, I brought my caddy down for an old and lube that there were chicken on the muffler on the super roof. Now she can cook and clean, run the washing machine, change her all on my caddy like a daddy never seen. Oh, she's fine, she's fine, she's fine. My baby's so fine. She's fine, she's fine. She's my green monkey mama, and that woman works over time. She's fine, she's fine. We get getting married straight, but it's true. When you and your mechanic gonna say I do. The winning decay. 
eat my baby's fingernails. My woman love me, it's understood. You wanna eat my interfere? She's under my bed. Now I have a lot of funny ass niggas too. When my baby turns in red, you know she know this. This is exactly what it looked like when that caddy was running. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. This is a song <laughs> called Chapatulas. Now, there's a street along the Mississippi River down New Orleans where I used to live. It's called Chapatulas. I don't know how many of y'all been down to NOLA. Yeah! It's almost Mardi Gras, people. So, we're gonna send this one out. It's been a rough year for, uh, for New Orleans music and, and American music in general. We lost Dave Bartholomew. We lost Dr. John Mac Rabinac. And most recently, we lost Art Neville. Papa Art Neville is the architect of this music right here. Uh, found a member of the Meters, found a member of the Neville Brothers. New Orleans music, New Orleans in general will never be the same. Uh, so we're gonna send this one out to Papa Art. Uh, a song called Take a Walk On Down, Chapter Two. <laughs> Eat your trouble, 
started doing since we got this drummer right here. Now, yeah, I ain't one of them, I ain't one of them cats who's into drum solos. Unless the drummer's got something to say. And our drummer right here has got something to say. So in the immortal words of James Brown and Chuck D, we won't hear the drummer get wicked.
a tiny bit of New Orleans for you. All right, so uh, we're gonna, the first record album I ever had, I stole from my mom. Uh, it was Elvis Presley live at Madison Square Garden. It wasn't 50s cool Elvis either, it was 70s Elvis, you know. Karate Elvis. Slightly overweight white rhinestone Elvis. But the man still, <laughs> so we're gonna do, it's a Tony Joe White song, but we're gonna do it Elvis style. And as soon as that man comes up with a clipboard, I'm going to tell you what song it is. <laughs> a song called Pope Salad Annie. Look tame, poke salad and Everybody said it was a shame, and if mama was a working on the game. He's a mean, vicious, spiteful, straight razor total woman. When I every day for supper time, she go down by the truck pad. Pick up, mess a poke salad. You get it home in a toast. Poke salad and poke salad and everybody said it was a shame. Mom was a working on the team. Yeah. She's a mean, wretched, spiteful, straight razor toast. Won't blow that mercy. Go ahead, pick me a mess. heard this song, you know there's a rap that goes along with the song. Tony Joe White did it. Elvis did it. Who am I not to do? <laughs> but we're going to do it Elvis style. I'm going to get the leg. I'm going to get the lip. Listen here. Now I'm gonna tell you something for those of you who've never been down south, so you know what we're talking about. There goes a plant out there in the woods and the trees look something like a something like a turnip green. Everybody calls it. Oh. Hey. That's some Elvis shit, right? So we're gonna do it again. That is literally my favorite part of the night. Uh -huh. 
Everybody calls it. You know, little girl go out in the evenings. She pick her a mess of a care home, and she cook that shit up for supper. That's all I had to eat, but they did all right. Now listen to me. Well, her daddy was lazy and no count. Claims they had a bad back. All the brothers who fit for hey, stealing watermelons out of my truck. Hey, folks. Right back. That way. All right, folks. Up oh, one more time, folks. One more time. Come on. So uh, that's half the show. So what the hell, right? This is awesome. So I was just told by Bill Hurley um, a confirmation of the story that he gave you a little bit of. Hold on a second, folks. This is important. Um, Thank you. So uh, Bill, Bill Hurley just confirmed something that he alluded to in the first set, which is uh, unfortunately part of the world we live in. They got, they got ripped off in Memphis. They got stuff stolen. They got a bunch of CDs stolen. I'm not, I'm not sure what else, but it's a bummer. They do this for a living. They're on the road. This is their life. So they are more than happy to kick ass tonight. We offered them the opportunity to do an interview with 40-minute sets, 80 minutes worth of music, and interview and they said no we're not here to talk we're here to play so uh so you're getting you're getting you're getting show and a half two shows maybe at this out of these guys but my point is that uh we've got an opportunity to help them out first of all they got a bunch of cds uh they don't have very many let's sell these things out there's a, not a very big pile back there go get some buy them help them out and then the other thing is uh, so so this is something that Bill started to do. Uh, it's really a, a beautiful piece of artwork, as all the uh, posters are that Bill designs. This is a one-of-a-kind marquee that we've been doing out front when you came in. What we've done is, is we've had these guys sign this. And this is one-of-a-kind. No, no more going to be made ever again. We're going to auction this off right now, and all the money is going to go for them to buy gas on their way to Florida. They're going to be down there for three weeks. Let's show them that... Uh, Memphis, Memphis is not how this world works. Uh, Norwood is how this world works. So let's show them how it, what happens, all right? So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to start this off at $25. And I don't know how this works. I've never done this before. But if somebody wants to give me more money for it, just yell out a number. Go ahead. $30. $40. $50. That's about a tank of gas, people. Come on. A hundred dollars? 
You know who you are. I can't see you. So you say 100 bucks. Somebody's going to get 100 bucks from you. You're not leaving. not giving 100 bucks. Anything more than 100 bucks? We got more than 100 bucks in the room? 120. Are you kidding me? Yeah. What's up? What's up? 120. Anything else? Are we good? Buck 20? Beautiful. One more time. Beautiful. Buck 20. Thank you very much, folks. Go buy some CDs. We'll see you in about 15 minutes. Thank you.
This train don't pull no gambles now. This train, this train don't pull no gambles. This train, this train don't pull no gambles. No high flyers, no midnight rambles. This train bound for glory now. This train, this train bound for glory. Said this train. Be Jewish, Native American, undecided, LGBTQ, RSTURV. Uh, everybody treated like a human being on this train. Bound for glory now, this train. and the holy this train bound for glory now this train i said this train bound for glory now this train this train bound for glory now this train this train this train yeah. and that's the truth I saw her today at the reception. A glass of wine in her hand. I knew she, she was gonna be 
a connection at a feet was a foot loom man you can't always get what you want you can't always get what you want you can't always get what you want but if you try sometimes you just might find get what you need drugstore to get your prescription filled. I was standing, standing in line with Mr. Jimmy.
everybody. We're going to be My starting in about two minutes. So grab your seats. We're going to be starting in about two minutes. Grab your seats. Thank you. I saw my song to Mr. Jimmy And he said, my work made And I was in So I said to myself You can't always give what you want You can't always give what you want Oh, no, no, no You can't always give what you want I can barely remember my address, bro. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Welcome back. We are the Chris O'Leary Band. This is the extended play session.
I swear that I can't change. Oh, I regret all the time we spent down at that fiery range. But now revenge is sweet woman. I swear forgiveness is divine. Give me feast day, give me feast day, baby. I swear I'll be just fine. love song here for y'all. A love song that I wrote for my ex-wife. <laughs> only, only got one. It's a love song entitled, I Need You, I Need You. Baby, I need you like a hole in my head. to hold me tight. She's gentle and kind, but not afraid of a fight. She'll be careful with my heart. I've been hurt in the past. Handle it with care like it was made of glass. I need you. I need you. No expense just to keep your ass out. A stainless steel devil security alarm. No big old nasty people that's immune to your charm. I need you. Thank you all so much. 
Like I said, we're all about the love here. <laughs> Here's the beauty. The beauty of me and a musician. She can take the house, she can take the car, she can take the dog, she can take half your 401k when you have a real job. <clears throat> what she cannot take is your ability to write songs about her in the future. <laughs> Yes, she's immortalized in every one of my five records. <laughs> she you, should be paying me royalties. If you play, if you play country western, you get all those things back. Yeah, that's true. Hey, here's one, huh? All right, this is a song right here about my service in the beloved United States Marine Corps. Um, we got any Marines out there? Yeah, nice, Semper Fi, brother. This one's going out to you. There's a song called Dress Blue. Pretty high about that guitar. Listen here. There's some fat cat in Washington goes and starts a fight. Don't care where or why he's safe at home at night. Now happy around the world. There's a working man's son, put a Marine behind the trigger, figure the job gets done. He's alive, you choose, and you pay your dues. Let me tell y'all something about them dress blue. Now there's a C-130 rolling down that strip. Marine Code Daddy gonna take a little trip. Now you stand up, you buckle up, you shuffle to the door. Jump right out and shuffle Marine Code. If my shoe don't open wide, brother, I got another one right here by my side. If that shoe don't pass around, I'll be the first one on the ground. There's a lot of you choose, and you pay your dues. And now, baby, let me tell you about a kind of 
said it am. United States Marine Corps just flew. All right, so at our heart, we, we play a lot of New Orleans stuff. We play a lot of funk and soul and stuff. But at our heart, we're, we're a Chicago blues band. And, and my favorite harmonica player ever was, ever will be, and not the usual cast of characters. It ain't Little Walter or James Cotton or, or, or Junior Wells or Kim Wilson. It's a, it's a guy by the name of Rice Miller, otherwise known as Sonny Boy Williams. Now, people, he wasn't even the original Sonny Boy Williamson. There was a guy in Chicago named John Lee Williamson who was the, he was Sonny Boy Williamson. And Rice Miller was down in, well, down in Helena, Arkansas, and uh, around Memphis. And he saw that the man was having some success, so he was the first man truly guilty of identity theft. He said, I'm gonna be Sonny Boy from now on. And, but the thing is, Rice was so far ahead of his time, lyrically phrasing his whole approach to the instrument was so revolutionary. He was so badass that now, when you're talking about Sonny Boy Williamson, nine times out of 10, you ain't talking about poor John Lee Williamson, you're talking about Rice Miller. So we're gonna do just a little bit of Rice for y'all right here. Cause a day without Sonny Boy is like a day without sunshine. Yeah, show sure enough. Thank you all so much. Semper Fi. Semper Fi, brother. And God bless Sonny Boy and Junior Wells. Oh, we're going to do some leave on for you. Mm -hmm. We will. This is a song called Give It.
heard so many times before.
give it to my baby, give it to my baby, give it, give it, give it. Come on. Come on. so much. All right, we're going to do, a, we're going to switch it up a little bit. Uh, uh, we're just going to do one song right here that's not on that set list because, no. Untune it. We're going to do Cripple Creek. <laughs> that kills me every time he does that. Looks like it hurts. Anybody request a Levon song? If we can do it, we're going to do it. When I was... I'll tell you about this later. We can do a song called Cripple Creek for y'all. This mound, you know where I wanna go. Straight down the Mississippi River to the Gulf of Mexico. A Chile, Charles, Louisiana. Now, little Bessie, girl, that I want to snoop. She told me just to come on by if there's anything that she could do. We going up on Ripple Creek, and she says me if I sang a leaf.
seen Levon live. He was a sight to behold, wasn't he? He truly was. All right. We're going to do a song here off our last CD. Um, it's one of my favorite songs that I ever wrote. All right. We're, we're going to stretch things out. Not exactly sure what that means. All right. So this is a song about the greatest... The greatest invention known to mankind, other than the wheel. Um, it's a song uh, about the, the Ford Flathead V8 motor, the first V8 internal combustion engine, and all the evil and discontent that it brought. I keep waiting for somebody to scream makeup and hitting Pete with the face <laughs> with a big powder puff. It's a song called The Devil Went to Town in a V8 Ford. The devil tempted the Lord with all the riches, wine, and women, all the pleasures flesh the fold. Now Jesus said, You got nothing for me, so be gone and tempt me no more. The devil jumped into his coop and started up that V8 fold. To town in a vehicle. The devil drove to town in a vehicle. Where there's screaming headlights cutting through the fog on a cold in the end of night. A hammer down left the cops in town on County Route 89. To town in a V8 Devil drove to town in a V8 
if we start this one over again? I know this is a this is a live thing. Can we do that, please? Thank you. Solos on the fold. Good. Sorry about that. This one we just brought out. I I uh I, I wrote it quite a yeah, we just brought it out on sound check. So that's usually not the best time to bring stuff out. Personally, professionally. <laughs> yeah, really good. Thank you. The song of this, the name of this song is Devil Went to Town in a VA4. <laughs> It's like you heard this before. Well, up on the mountain top, it's where the devil tempted the Lord. Been all the riches, wine, and women, all the pleasures, flesh of hope. Jesus said, You got nothing for me, so be gone and tempt me no more. The devil jumped into his coop, started up that VA phone. Lack of pain, black as night, screaming flat his motor, shop just right. When the dirty work that has to be done, jump behind the wheel and have some fun. The devil drove to town in a VA phone. The devil drove to town in a VA phone. Well, there's some demon headlights cutting through the fog on a cold day and a night. I hammer down left the cops in town on County Route 89. Public enemy number one got the cheap man on his tail. John Dillon Judge drove a flathead for to keep his ass out of jail. Running four times in and a back seat of cash. Blood on your hands drives quick. To town in a VA phone. A devil drove to town in a VA phone. Much decent work for an honest man from Tennessee to Carolina. Now you can break your back, plow in the field, or get the black lung down in the mine. Now set up a steel and cook moonshine liquor. Gotta do what you gotta do. And the devil drove down from Detroit, Michigan by 1932. Come on. The hill is hot rods, guns, and cold liquor seem to go hand in hand. Well, you can strip down the chassis and hop up the motor and drive as fast as you can. When the revenue a man came sniffing around, raised him up a holler and never came down. Devil drove to town in a V8 boat. The devil drove to town in a V8 boat. When the dirty work to get done, our souls just get in line. For the new rug is in money, they forget about doing time. Hold up my first national loan run, a trunk full of shine. Now if you want to make a clean getaway, you got to make a clean getaway. You better make a clean getaway. You better let that end in The devil drove the town in a VA boat. 
Oh, Lucifer drove the town in a high rise hole. Beelzebub drove the town in a chop top fold. Mephistopheles drove the town in a 32 fold. Now, people, how many songs do you know of that has the word Mephistopheles in it? You know how hard it is to rhyme Mephistopheles? It ain't easy. I looked in the dictionary for names of the devil. There's a whole mess of them. Various cultures, various languages. Mephistopheles, <laughs> Mephistopheles just happened to fit. Where the devil drove to town in a VA fold. Oh, Lucifer drove to town in a hot rod fold. Beelzebub above drove the town in a chop top fold. Mephistopheles drove the town in a 32 fold. I said, who, baby? Who, baby? He, baby. Well, the devil drove the town in the VFO. I said, the devil drove the town in the VFO. Hey, ooh, baby. I say, ooh, baby. Thank you so much. Thank you for indulging us and let us start that one over. So this is a song off that latest CD. Did I tell you all this CD went to number one? So I called my mom. I said, Mom, Mom, Mom. She's like, who's this? I said, it's your son, Chris. She's like, what do you want? I said, Mom, I got the number one blue CD in the country. She said, Christopher, that's the 18th time you told me today. People, it never gets old. I'm ready when you are. <laughs> yeah. Is, well, I forgot what song. Oh, yeah. We're doing a song. It's a, it's a commentary. It's, a, it's Actually, it's a serious song. It's a commentary on the way things are today, unfortunately. Uh, it's a song called Your Day Will Come. Say anything to get you elected. Tell the people what they want to hear. Divide and separate. Play up the hate. Stoke the devil's fires of faith. Guilty or not. Sorry, people. All right? All right, this is a song called... <laughs> <It's just laughs> I feel like an idiot doing this again. Do I have to, do I have to introduce it again? All right, this is a song called Your Day Will Come. Say anything to get you elected. Tell the people what they want to hear. Divide and separate, play of the hate. Stoke the devil's fires of fear. 
Guilty on now, right or wrong. I guess it's only about what they can prove. Like it was an old song that said it was Mississippi free. The load's ready, man. You better move. Now your day will come. Your day. You got angels flying above you, but they ain't clear to land. You got the devil down here, you got your feet in the water, both making castles in the sand. Crawl through the mud, sell a call of blood, step on your very brother just to get that grain. Tell yourself you want to be a winner, well, you about to be a son. It ends just to find the means. Now your day will come. Your day. Judge a man on the content of his character, not on the color of his skin. A killer or crook, a man shouldn't need a good look. What care what constitutes sin? Your day. Desert and the deep red sea, Moses said, was right and right. We won't leave, and you know you can't make us stay. Try to hold us down with a soul that ain't nothing to my load, and it's gonna be so hell to pay your day.
Thank you so much. Thank you. Subtlety, people. That's what I'm all about. Subtlety. <laughs> uh, all right, what the hell's the next one we're going to do? Oh, this is a good one. <laughs> Ow. I love that shit. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a song called, it's a song about, uh, you might as well be what you is, because the minute you start being what you ain't, bad things happen. It's a song called, I Can't Help This Hell. Now, Bayon Bobby says he's gonna settle down. Do all the right things, make his mama proud. Gonna find himself a girl from the right side of town. Quit all that late night hanging with a dead end crowd. He saw that dress of chartreuse. Woman had a tattoo of a noose down real low to draw attention to her ass. There was a match made in heaven. I bet you that ball was called heaven. Cause these two fools was going nowhere fast. Now you are what you are. You ain't is what you ain't. No sense in trying to be nobody else. If you want to do it, go ahead and get down to it. In the end, you probably can't help yourself. gotta go for what you want that ain't gonna give you what you need might cut your right hand off for stealing you got your left so just let it bleed help yourself to the high road me and the fellas we're okay down here on the low With all my substantial baggage riding low. Now you are what you are. Now you ain't is what you ain't. No sense in trying to be nobody else. If you want to do it, go ahead and get down to it. You probably can't help yourself. You can't help yourself. Make it greasy.
Like a buzzard in the street, ripping and stripping all the meat. Or some roadkill for the headlights come along. Now if you in it to win it, you better gobble up that sand. Cause once you're in, things can hardly go wrong. Now don't be a glutton for nothing. Can't share that cake, you be cutting pretty soon. Them doors be shut in your face. Now if you're struggling today, I don't care what all them fools say. The thrill of the prize is always better than the chase. Now you are what you are, you ain't you what you ain't. No sense in trying to be nobody else. Now if you want to do it, go ahead and get down to it. In the end, you probably can't help yourself. Thank you so much. All right, we're going to do another song right here of that latest CD. So we're going we're gonna to do a song that you all know. It's one of the greatest songs ever made, ever written. It ain't the blues, but it, it's Levon's most famous song. Just need a place where I can lay my head. Hey, mister, can you tell me where man my find a bed? He just grinned and shook my hand. No, was all he said. I take a long hand. I take a long breeze. I take a long For a place to hide. That's when I saw coming in the devil walk side by side. I said, hey, Come on, come on, let's go downtown. She said, I gotta go, but my friend can't stick around. I take a long hand. I take a long Go down, Miss Moses. Ain't nothing that you can say. 
is just old Lou and Lou and all Germany. Well, Lou, my friend, what about your MD? He said, do me a favor, son, won't you stay and keep in the company? I take a look. Chester, follow me. And he called me in the fall. He said, I will fix your rap if you do take check I don't. So wait a minute, Chester. I'm a peaceful man. He said, that's okay for to be here whenever you can. Take a look. Won't you take me on down the line? My bag is singing low, and I do believe it's time to get back to Miss Annie. You know she's the only one who sent me here with no regards for We had a blast tonight, people. For real, I didn't know what I didn't know what to expect. Um, I haven't. I mean, I used to play uh, Harper's Ferry with with Levon back in the day, and we played House of Blues a few times. But I haven't been in this area since Johnny D's was open. Uh, yeah, long time. And I'm the biggest Red Sox fan in the world. I am, truly, I am. And growing up, growing up in New York as a Red Sox fan is not an easy thing. It is not. It's not. Freddie Lynn was my hero. I mean, I'm pretty much brain dead, but I can tell the entire starting nine of the 75 Sox. That was 40 years ago. I know. Shit. That was 45 years ago, bro. 45. Little did I know it was going to be about 25 years of pain and anguish. So my stepson is now a, 
a Red Sox fan because I'm not going to raise a Yankees fan in my house. <laughs> I am not. So he got on board around 2003. He doesn't know my pain. He doesn't. You know, he knew that little Tim Wakefield, Aaron Boone thing, but he didn't. He, he, past that, he doesn't know my pain. Kid's like a Johnny come lately. It's not right. All right, so we're going we're gonna to do a song that I wrote for Levon. It's going to be on our upcoming CD. It's a, thong, it's a song called Things Ain't Always What They Seem. It's a song, woman said, please hold the line. Yeah, she danced down at the bamboo, came in with a shell suit. She didn't talk much, but won't need to tip me just fine. She had eyes and eyes and then I swore that something wasn't quite right when the jerk got wasn't dressed in all their required hipster attire. Now what the people damn did not know, that the country boy had sold his soul. And what awaited him was hell, brimstone, and fire. He put the bottle on the stand, he put the finger on the string. And what they heard next was the saddest Told him how the devil's deal went down. 
Did y'all have a good time tonight? So did I. <laughs> Thank y'all so much. I know they're out of tape. You fellas mind if we play one more quick one? You don't have to tape it. We just but if like you got it, tape it, right? All right. We're gonna do a song right here. Yeah. We're going to do some rock and roll for y'all right here. Did I mention to y'all that our last record was number one on the blues charts? <laughs> it sold out. <laughs> yeah, believe it or not. I did, I told her. <laughs> so we're going to do a song right here, a song off that CD. It's a song called, She's a Heartbreak and She's Waiting to Happen. Now she's a heartbreak, uh, waiting to happen. Go ahead and sit right down, let me tell you about this woman on my eye. A blonde hair, blue eyes, the skin so soft, I gotta drop this smile to be a cancer law. She's a heartbreak waiting to happen, little girls on my Yeah. 
y'all so much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, now for the intermission. You have uh, 12 hours until tomorrow night. So get some sleep, come back tomorrow night. Wait, you can't because it's sold out. I think tomorrow night. It's close. It's close. Better buy tickets on your way out. Anyway, thanks a lot for coming. And uh, thanks for all the help earlier, keeping these guys on the road all the way to Florida. We'll see you tomorrow night. Thanks a lot. Oh yeah, hey Connor, roll the credit.